We were told that when we had a president, we'd see a giant global political figure. The man that would be the political leader for 500 million people. The man that would represent all of us on the world stage. The man whose job was so important that, of course, you're paid more than President Obama. Well, I'm afraid what we got was you. And I'm sorry, but after that performance earlier that you gave, and I don't want to be rude, but, but you know, really, you have the charisma of a damp rag and the appearance of a low-grade bank clerk. And the question that I want to ask, the question that I want to ask, that we're all going to ask, is who are you? I'd never heard of you. Nobody in Europe had ever heard of you. I would like to ask you, President, who voted for you? And what mechanism? Oh, I know democracy is not popular with you lot. And what mechanism do the peoples of Europe have Mr. to remove President. you. Is this European democracy? Well, I, I sense, uh, I sense well, though, that you're competent and capable and dangerous. And I have no doubt that it's your intention to be the quiet assassin of European democracy and of the European nation states. You appear to have a loathing for the very concept of the existence of nation states. Perhaps that's because you come from Belgium, which, of course, is pretty much a non-country. But since you took over, we've seen Greece reduced to nothing more than a protectorate. Sir, you have no legitimacy in this job at all, and I can say with confidence that I can speak on behalf of the majority of the British people in saying, we don't know you, we don't want you, and the sooner you're put out to grass, the better. Well, as you said, Mr. President, you wouldn't like to be rude, and I... Well, I prefer to, to, to go ahead with this statement. Uh, I'm very disappointed with you, President Busek. It is not acceptable that in this Parliament a group chairman not only criticises the President of the Council, but calls him a wet rag. And I expect you, President, to call this person to order. It's not right that this man should be able to trample over the dignity of this House. And Joseph Doe, it's not just a case of getting or allowing the UK to uh, leave the EU. It would be better for Mr Farage to resign if the European Union and the European Parliament are such bad things in his eyes. Thank you, President. Just as I have said uh, to President Farage previously, two months ago, and today I repeat this, these type of addresses which are character assassin assassinations of individuals are inadmissible in the European Parliament and I spoke to Mr. Farage about it and I pointed, drew his attention to it. Uh, Mr. Schultz, I'd like to say that this is how I work and that's, the, that's my way of going about it. Is it personal statement? The floor is yours. <laughs> You may not like what I say, but just consider your behaviour. You, after the Irish people in a referendum voted no, said that our group had opened by supporting the no vote, that we'd opened the door to fascism. You said that we had behaved as a group in the parliament like Hitler and the Nazis in the Reichstag. We've been called by Danny Cohn-Bendit mentally weak. You know, you know, it has to be, it can't be it one way. It is not a personal it? statement. Mr. Mr. President Farage, it is not a personal statement. I am very sorry it was not a personal statement. We must keep order and all the regulations of our parliament. Uh, the next...